Well, 2012 marks 100 years since the Titanic made its fateful voyage across the Atlantic. California Life's Audra Stafford went inside a new exhibition in San Diego featuring dozens of Titanic artifacts never before seen on the West Coast. I'm Audra Stafford here at the San Diego Natural History Museum where more than 200 artifacts from the Titanic wreck site are now on display. April 10th, 1912, the day the RMS Titanic set sail from England on her maiden voyage. It was the largest man-made moving object ever, the most luxurious ship ever built. And it was said to be unsinkable until that moment just four nights later when it hit an iceberg. It took two hours and 40 minutes after they hit the iceberg for it to sink. That's the same length of the time as a play. And in a play, there's a lot of stories that are told, and there were certainly a lot of stories that were written that night. Those stories are now living on in exhibits across the country, thanks to meticulous salvage work. It takes two and a half hours to get down, and it's all black. They Actor Lowell Lytle has spent 14 years that. as a spokesman and lookalike for the Titanic's captain. And in 2000, he got a chance to visit the wreck site himself. But he took me to the bow. I went right over that spot where they held out their arms in the movie and said, I'm the king of the world. Right. Open your eyes. I went over the main hatch, up the crow's nest, up on the bridge, saw the telemotor. Lytle also helped to recover artifacts. I found good many items, and I stayed focused on picking up artifacts the best I could for about an hour and not emotionally get involved. But you could not see the Titanic with your own eyes and not be affected. The same goes for Titanic, the artifact exhibition. As you walk through the exhibit, you'll see personal belongings recovered from the wreck site, historic photos of the ship, and detailed recreations of the cabins. This is one of the exhibit's interactive areas. It's a replica of the iceberg, and it's actually cool to the touch. Each visitor to the exhibit will also receive a boarding pass with the name of an actual passenger. Could have been a first, second, or third class pass. Could be a crew member. And you look at the china and so forth and say, let's see, I've, if I were second class, I would have eaten off of this piece right here and you'll identify with that person. And when you get to the memorial room, you will look to see if that person survived. Lytle says it's an extremely emotional experience. I see them jump up and down. They say, I lived, I lived. Other people, I've seen them burst into tears. I didn't make it. I can't think of a better way to respect those 1,500 souls than to tell their stories. And that's what we're going to do here. Bringing you the best of California from San Diego, I'm Audra Stafford for California Life. The exhibition continues at the San Diego Natural History Museum. For more information, go to our website, californialifehd.com.